Jack Kevorkian devoted his life to a debate over whether or not a person can choose to die. Critics called him Dr. Death, but supporters of physician-assisted suicide think of him as a champion. Kevorkian died today at a hospital in Michigan at the age of 83 from a blood clot. News of his death started the conversation all over again. He was a retired pathologist from Michigan who specialized in challenging authority. Dr. Jack Kevorkian ignited a national debate in the 1990s over physician-assisted suicide when he helped more than 130 patients kill themselves. Many doctors agree with me, but they're intimidated to silence. I'm lucky to be in a position where I don't have to be silent. Kevorkian often used his homemade suicide machine, where the patients themselves could administer a fatal drug dose at the push of a button. He said his actions were based on a simple belief that the terminally ill have a right to end their own suffering and die if they choose to. And this is the ultimate self-determination, to determine when and how you're going to die when you're suffering. Legal authorities did not agree. Four times he was put on trial and never convicted. As the trials wore on, he became more defiant, always accompanied by his attorney, Jeffrey Feiger. It's a rare human being who can single-handedly take on an entire society and force it to focus on the suffering of other human beings. His final confrontation with the justice system began in 1998 when he recorded himself assisting in the suicide of Thomas Yauch, a man suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. He showed the tape on 60 Minutes and defiantly defended himself to Mike Wallace. You killed him. I did, but it could be manslaughter, not murder. It's not necessarily murder. I know what it is. This could never be a crime in any society which deems itself enlightened. He dared prosecutors to indict him again. They did. And he was convicted of second-degree murder. He served eight years of his sentence, but was freed from jail in 2007, promising not to break any more laws. Jack Kevorkian never achieved his goal of legalizing euthanasia, but he did succeed in getting an entire country to begin thinking about the right to die. Even among supporters of a patient's right to die, Kevorkian was controversial. Though there's no federal law allowing physicians-assisted suicide, it is legal in three states.